I received a call from somebody claiming to be from Amazon. They were inquiring about charges that I hadn't made. They wanted me to provide information to someone or other in Thailand what? who was going to make sure that a refund was processed against my credit card. Wow. And at that point, I hung up. Shortly after that call, Paul received random emails from businesses claiming to be Amazon Mexico. Click here to upload your payment for Amazon Prime. And Amazon.com in the U.S. This looks entirely and totally legitimate to me. Except for it's a product that you it's would never product. buy, you it's don't a, understand. It's and a it's ladies from product. Amazon in the U.S. Correct. I would not click on that anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> and around the same time, he had no idea a large withdrawal was made from his line of credit until he received this letter. The outstanding balance, currently at $10,986.59, is due and payable immediately. This was completely out of the blue. And after having almost $10,000 stolen from his line of credit, Paul says dealing with the aftermath has made the experience even worse. They can't tell me who it was made to, um, how it came about. My suspicion is, is that my card was scammed or skimmed, as they call it, probably in Mexico. And that all of these things have been a result thereof. There is no singular person at the branch that I've encountered anyway, that can take the process from start to finish. And then various branches keep sending me back and forth between fraud collections and a branch. If they provide a determination in my favor, confirming that it was in fact a fraud, then I have to try to correct my credit rating, which is now, uh, you know, it looks like I'm a, a deadbeat. I just turned 60 years old, my life's work and uh, all that I've accrued is all now in jeopardy as far as I can see. After reaching out to Paul's bank, we received an email stating that Scotiabank cannot comment on specific customer matters for privacy reasons, but they take cases of fraud very seriously. To learn more about the various types of fraud and how you can best protect yourself from becoming a victim, visit carp.ca. Overlooking the Don Valley Ravine in Toronto, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News.